Work has begun on packages one and two of the St. John River Flood Mitigation Project in River Road. Package one starts at the Green Bridge to the Humback Bridge, while package two starts from the area behind the Chinese Friendship Garden at Queen's Park and concludes at the back of the Purcell Building in River Road. MP for the Tongue of St. George, Honorable Peter David, told GIS he is pleased to see the commencement of work on packages one and two. Packages three and four are now 65% complete. I'm happy that package one and two uh, is, is now on the way. You know, sometimes a project starts and it stops. This one seems to be going full speed ahead. And um, the residents of the area who are looking down on that will see the fulfillment of a promise that was made uh, several years ago is actually now uh, being fulfilled. Of course, in any construction, you will have some some, some dislocation, some inconvenience. Uh, you would have dust in the road, you know, sometimes people complain about the dust, complain about the mud. But, you know, development does cause some, 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 some uh, dislocations. It does some, cause some, some discomfort. So that is going to happen. There are persons on the, on the, on the river bank who are currently uh, conducting their business, legitimate business, businesses that we hope can continue. The contract was awarded to Creative Designs. Roger Superville, site supervisor for packages one and two, shared with GIS the scope of work to be undertaken in package one. The works entail clearing of the trees, doing the excavations to accommodate walls and foundation. Um, the length of the wall in phase one is at about 1,000 linear feet. The height of the wall is 14 feet tall. Um, is about that? 14 feet tall, yes. The depth of the footing is minus 1.5 under sea level. So we are definitely going under the, um, the, the, the level of the water. Right? The width of the base is about 17 feet wide. Right? And the height of the wall is, uh, is about 14 feet tall. Superville says that they are working the deeper part of the St. John River and as such, there will be some challenges in backing the water. Well, the plan we have in going forward is we need to back the, the river in the deeper part to make it dry. And any water seep into it, we're going to pump it out and start to pour the concrete from there. But we have, we have to back the water in order to get to start um, the process. Packages 1 will generate employment for 50 tradesmen and women and is expected to be completed in eight months.